So then folks, welcome back to the journey, man, and a massive episode here at the start of season three. We may well have just joined a new club. So then guys, welcome back to the journey, man, and uh, as you can see, we have joined a new club. We have left Brackley Town to join Grimsby Town, uh, who currently sit in League Two. So of course, we have a promotion on our CV, getting Brackley up to the Vanarama National League. And I kept my eye on jobs. And this one cropped up pretty late, to be fair. But we have officially joined Grimsby Town, who sit in League Two as our new manager. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. I've obviously been in the job a little while now. Pre-season hasn't been overly ideal. Um, I think we joined uh, with that for that friendly against Chester. And uh, as you can see, it's been a bit strange. We actually lost to Brackley. That was already a pre-arranged uh, friendly. And we lost to them. <laughs> Um, but uh, more recently, we've drawn to Boston 3-3 and just actually drawn with Warsaw in a testimonial for our goalkeeper, James uh, McEwen. So, um, <clears throat> try and get through as much as we can today, show you what uh, what the club's about and so on and show you the progress. Uh, but yeah, applied for the Grimsby job. They came back quite quickly uh, to us, to be honest. Only main promise I've got with the board is that I improve my media handling, obviously pass a lot of my uh, press conferences and, and so on on. Uh, but yeah, I was hired as the uh, Grimsby manager just, um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it, if it gives me an exact date, but um, of course, moving on from Brackley Town, where we left with a about a 62% win percentage, which is very, very good, really. So I'm very happy that we have obviously done well at Brackley and now been able to move on a, a, another level or two and really kick on, hopefully, with Grimsby Town. Um, in terms of season preview, we are predicted 16th, but it's only 25 to 1, the uh, promotion odds, or, uh, you know, and last season they're finishing 8th. So definitely a platform to grow and, and build on, uh, if we're honest. The wage structure is obviously much stronger than what it was. It's about £30,000 more per week that we had at Grimsby, um, at Brackley, sorry. Uh, the obviously overall balance is much stronger as a club as well. Um, but just looking at the team, obviously the, these names in green are players that I've got on trial at the moment, just having a look at. Um, probably the key players, if we do it by in terms of value, uh, we've got a lad called Aidan Marsh in on loan from Barnsley. He looks a pretty tidy player, to be fair. Played for Grimsby last season on loan. He scored 11 goals, so I thought I'd bring him back. Uh, Max Wright as well, who could play on the uh, right-hand side as a right midfielder. Isn't too bad. Um... And I like Julian Lammy as well. He Again, he's another right midfielder. He's on a, a fairly chunky wage compared to the rest of the squad. Matty Pollock, who is a young centre-back. I'm pretty sure Wolves have been linked with this guy in real life. Six foot three, wanted by a couple of championship teams already. He's got a release clause of about 500k. So I'm going to obviously be trying my best to keep hold on to him. And Harry Clifton, who looks a pretty tidy central midfielder as well. So we'll get obviously to know the players a little bit more. I've still got time, I think, to bring in players if I wish, because we are only in July. Um, and hopefully we can do that. Um, but... Obviously, if there's any more information that you guys want to know, um, yeah, you know, I was trying my luck a little bit with some of these trials. Um, the only sign in the club have already made, which was already pre-agreed uh, before I joined, is Pierce Sweeney coming in from Tramere Rovers. So, I've not really looked at any Brackley players to bring up with me just yet. Maybe we'll look at Leon Levu um, soon, but uh, yeah, just mainly been trying to sort of. Uh, streamline the squad, get rid of players that aren't really in my plans, try and keep it as tight knit as we can and obviously bring in some other players but I'll continue to look. Uh, but today's game is up against Grim, uh, not up against Grimsby, against Warsaw. Our first game uh, as a manager in the Carabao Cup, uh, so the League Cup. Uh, in terms of the tactics, we're going to stick with the 4-4-2 that we had at Brackley. Obviously over time we could you know, move on with this in terms of pushing the wingers up, dropping a striker to play like a 4-2-3-1 or 4-4-1-1. But um, yeah, let's let's jump into this game up against Warsaw, who the club haven't really had a great record against. Let's see what we can do. So then here are the teams, as you can see, maybe some more names that you recognise this time. We're starting as Stephen Payne and Aidan Marsh up front. Uh, Sean McConville, Kenyon, Clifton and right in midfield with ha uh, Haberjam, uh, Pollock, Sweeney and Hewitt at the back with McEwen in goal. Uh, Warsaw got Roberts, Hare, Keown. Uh, Revan, Medford Smith, Heskef, Kinsella, McDonald, White Smith, and Gordon. So here we go. Uh, let me know in the comment section, obviously, if you know of any of these players. But uh, Grimsby Town are the newest club uh, that we are managing in the Journeyman Team Two, and this is our first competitive game in charge with them. We're at White Warsaw, a team in the same level as us. Uh, I believe it's League Two, and in the Carabao Cup. 
So I'm really hoping that we can obviously nice cup run. Always, always appreciate a nice cup run. Um, but I think Walsall are probably one of the stronger teams in the division. I may be wrong, but I would I would suspect that. Uh, but here's Kinsella into weight. Uh, good ball through to Gordon from an angle. And I think McEwen pushed that away. Good save. He's good, actually, the goalkeeper. He, in terms of his attributes, he's got some really strong attributes. Gordon again. And I say that as they score, but the flag is up for offside. So we got away with that one early doors. Um, that was a big chance there for Warsaw. Oh, it's tight as well. Very, very tight. He's unlucky there, to be fair. But Warsaw having the first big chance of the game. Obviously, McEwen with a big save as well. Uh, but you can see by the stats already, we get a good amount of shots on goal. Let's see if this, obviously, tactic that works so well at non-league level can translate to football league level. Or if we have to, obviously, expand and be... Uh, ex expand a bit really and another big chance there for Warsaw who are at the moment are having all the opportunities I'm just going to drop a little encourage on the boys to see if we can get a little goal or at least a, a positive opportunity before half time first booking of the game there for Warsaw as well uh, just before the half hour mark and here's a chance for us not a great throw in but Kenyon will pick this up into Clifton as a poor ball from him as well Heskef Long ball forward, the keeper will come and collect it. Probably uh, look to exploit the low market a little bit more. We've only got the one player in on loan, and it is Marsh now who's on the ball. He'll lay off all pain, and it's a lovely strike. Get in there, Aiden Marsh. Good work from him. Lays it off for Stefan Payne, who didn't really need to move there. It's a great direct ball forward. You don't really see us play much direct football. That's caused Warsaw a problem, and this is a lovely finish. Just delicately picked where he wanted it, Stefan Payne. And uh, we take the lead in the Carabao Cup. It's Warsaw nil, Grimsby Town 1. And that's exactly what we would have wanted. A few minutes to go in this uh, first half. Hewitt into Payne. Cleared away only as far as Clifton now. And back to Sweeney. <clears throat> Get a direct ball forward. Clifton into right, into Payne. Overlap was on. He'll find Marsh instead. Kenyon. Marsh. Oh, it's a lovely ball by Marsh. And Wright can just roll it into the back of the net. What a ball. Aiden Marsh. Meant to be our advance forward. He's got two assists now. And that is a delightful through ball from him. Good, patient build-up play again. And look at this. Reverse ball. The run was there. It was late. And Wright just has to roll it past the goalkeeper. Into the back of the net. With five minutes to go. In the first half. It's Warsaw nil. Grimsby Town 2. And uh, as it stands, it looks like it may well be a successful debut game for us in charge of Grimsby. So then here we are with the second half. I'm hoping, you know, we can build on this. Can we defend this uh, set piece? We can to a degree. Warsaw will keep this alive though. Wait back to uh, Keown and cleared away only as far as Gordon who hits the woodwork from range. Big chance there for Warsaw just a few moments in to the game. It's a ball over the top though there. Stefan Payne! Oh wow! What a bounce back. After obviously being under the cosh air from Warsaw we go down the other end, and what a quick highlight that was. Set piece by Sweeney, direct ball. We never really saw this direct play with Brackley. It's exactly the same system with the same instructions. And Stefan Payne has found the back of the net. I like him a lot because, uh, yeah, you look at that. He's good, decent composure, decent finishing. There's another chance as he almost gets his hat trick there. But this is a really positive start. I was a little bit worried, I have to say, when we saw, obviously, the, the pre-season fixtures... Um, it's a chance to Smith, a great save again. When I saw the preseason fixtures and, and the results with how we were playing, I was a little bit concerned about how long this season may well be. But this has cheered me up slightly and given me a little bit of confidence that we can definitely possibly push a playoff push. And I think that's what we want to try and do. Push for the playoffs and fingers crossed we can do so. But it's uh, two goals for Stefan Payne, two assists for Aidan Marsh and obviously that goal just before our time for Max Wright as well. Here's McConville, ball into Payne, Kenyon, into Marsh, deserves his own goal, and he does get a goal, but it is offside. Big chance there, was he off, was it tight? Oh, it was very tight, he's unlucky there, so unlucky. How a linesman would see that with a naked eye, I wouldn't know, but that was a big chance for him to grab his own goal. But it's uh, 20 minutes to go until full time, we can break now, right on the ball on the left hand side. Right there, skips past another challenge. This could be a great goal. And he tries to dink it and Robert stands firm and tall. But we are going to bring Wright off now. Keep him fresh maybe for those games. Andy Cook as well. Um, Ex-Warsaw man, so let's bring him on. Bring off there. 
Uh, Aidan Marsh, who's had a phenomenal game as well. And we'll bring on Regan Thompson in the place of Kenyon there. But uh, phenomenal play there. And it's still a chance for Marsh. And he does get his goal just as I was about to take him off. He gets his first goal of the season. And Aidan Marsh makes it 4-0. Warsaw don't know what's hit them here today. Clifton there. Little layoff back. Hewitt with a delightful cross into the area. Keeper in no man's land. And Marsh just has to tap it into an empty net. We'll make that triple sub now. <clears throat> with just under 20 minutes to go. But uh, Warsaw, of course, you would suspect now, are completely out of this game. They're, they're definitely out of this game. And we're definitely going through to round two of the Carabao Cup. It's a very uh, direct game at the moment. But Conville now picks it up again. Payne who's on a hat-trick. And to ball over the top towards Smith. Smith with a chance. And again, another easy save for the Grimsby goalkeeper, who's had a good game today. He made some decent stops and kept us in the game. And uh, Stefan Payne up front, still searching. Can we drop... Well, you know, I'm going to drop a little praise. Let's see if we can grab a goal off this. Fingers crossed we can. It's a ball in. There's Pollock and... Hits the bar and out. I'm expecting him to grab a few goals. We saw, obviously, the amount of goals that some of our defenders scored over the last couple of years. Matty Pollock from corners. I'm expecting to grab a few goals. But it is full-time. It is Warsaw nil. Grooms before. A fantastic attacking display from us there. And uh, we are through to round two in the Carabao Cup after an absolutely emphatic victory. And uh, we'll take that every day of the week. Um, Stefan Payne, great game for him as well. And of course, that eleven now have proved their worth. They, you know, they they've played so well there, and they can all start if everyone is fit and ready to play Rochdale in our first league game. It was Lee Johnson in charge as well. Um, so round two of the Carabao Cup is only a couple of games away. Um, I'm not too sure when the draw is for that, but obviously that will be on there, the recap on the next episode. But if you did enjoy it today, guys, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you do. Let me know your thoughts on our brand new club so far. Until next time, I'll see you all very soon.